So check this out. We picked up another boat. Uh, this one is a 1995 and it's not in bad condition at all. It does need work. Came with a aluminum trailer. It's a sea swirl and this is a 22 foot boat. It came with a Ocean Pro Evinrude 152 stroke. So I'm just going to do a little um, overview of it before we start working on it. Here's the other side. Um, it does need a lot of cleaning. Um, I think just like mold or whatnot on there. Um, trailer is in pretty decent condition. Uh, bunks are great. Brackets aren't really rusted too bad. The cushions are really dirty. We pulled them out. Um, we're not sure if we're going to reupholster these or just clean them and put them in. I know this cushion has damage to it. It's like a dog bit it or something. Um, so let's go inside the boat. Um, we have some cushions. It looks like these are seats on each side. These cushions are in pretty decent shape. We have a seat back here. Coming to the back, we have, looks like just cup holders on each side. Um, looks like the storage compartment here. Maybe this is a live well or something. Uh, maybe it looks like just a cooler. <clears throat> um, we have the bimini top. There's two of these. Bunch of gauges, whatnot. I wonder if there's a GPS in here for the boat. I haven't checked yet. But um, there's some storage compartments in there that need to be all cleaned up. Steering works on the motor, which is always great. Let's open this mm -hmm. up. The inside of the cabin is a disaster. Uh, the person before us pulled all the carpet out, which is, I mean, it's less work for us. There's still some carpet that needs to be pulled out, but <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to paint the whole cabin. We're going to paint it white. See this? More carpet that needs to be removed. Carpet on this side. We've got a radio. Not sure if any of this works. It's not too bad in here. There is a sink in here. Not sure if that works. And I know that there's a grill in here too. Or a stove. Oh. Slides out. Just like that. Actually, it looks like it's never been used almost. It's almost a new condition. So yeah, that's pretty handy. Uh, we never had a stove on a boat yet. Um, yeah, so I mean, it's a very basic boat, a few extras. Um, oh, uh, looks like uh, we have a footstool right here. Something new that we never had. And some other stuff in here, not sure what that is, but. Um, a few things that we're going to do, like I said, we're going to do the cabin, maybe the cushions, we're going to do bottom paint, uh, the motor, I did a compression check and the compression checked out and all the cylinders that sparked, so it should be a good running motor, just needs a lot of cleaning, a lot of love, and it should be a good running boat, let me see what this storage compartment is right here, I haven't, I don't know what's under here. Oh, it's a live well, okay. All right, so it's not bad. It's a pretty nice boat, so we're gonna get to it and we're gonna start working on it. We are doing the bottom paint. We have everything taped off, and on this side, some of the paint is already applied on the boat. Uh, so our goal is today is to finish the bottom paint, and we're going to work inside the boat after this is done. So we are going to be working on the boat some more today. 
bottom paint is completely finished. I put uh, new scuppers in the back. Uh, bottom paint came out looking really good. Um, we are ripping out the carpet in the interior. It's all junk and whatnot. Um, so right now what I'm doing is I'm going to attempt to start this motor and we'll see what she does. Hopefully um, she runs. <laughs> So the sun is down. It's actually pretty nice tonight. Um, we let this cabin dry for about two hours. And um, we're gonna start painting it uh, gloss white. So we're almost done painting the cabin. It's coming out looking pretty good. We also have to um, put more coats in here. And I'm gonna do one more coat in the cabin, but I just wanna show you guys how it's turning out so far. What we're doing, uh, we actually went out and purchased a 20 by 40 canopy. This is 15 feet tall. We're gonna abandon our other project and this will uh, should do us good and should uh, serve the purpose that we need it to do. So we just put the lights on here. We have three LED lights in here. It's looking out uh, pretty good. We're gonna put the top tarp in. Um, we dug some holes to put the posts in and we're gonna start lifting this thing up. So keep you guys updated. As you can see, uh, we're kind of like halfway done with this. We did a few mistakes. We have bent poles. That's one of them right there that's bent. And we have a few other ones that are bent, but you guys get the idea of how it looks. It's actually pretty sweet. It's really long, <laughs> but we're gonna replace those pipes tomorrow and we're gonna put the sides on here later. So we are pretty much done with this whole tarp. We're just filling in the holes of where the main posts go. Um, we have our supports out um, and it's looking pretty good. All right, so I just want to give you guys a um, quick idea of what we're going to do today. It's a new night. Um, what we're going to do is we're gonna try some splatter inside this cabin. We bought some paint that matches um, this color right here and we're just gonna take a paintbrush and splatter it in here and in here and also in here and we are also repainting this so um, we're gonna see how everything turns out <laughs> a little oh. different than the usual painting that looks actually that actually looks good really there. so we can go a little bit heavier on the brush you think I should make a drip like that or just... Yeah, why not? <laughs> it actually looks good. <laughs> that was perfect. Perfect size piece of tape right there. Yeah, it actually looks good on camera. It's gonna look looks... good in there. With the green and blue. I need to be shaken up. No, that's good. It looks like uh, you already shook it up. Oh. So we just finished the cabin. We just uh, painted the sink. We were going to polish um, all that up tomorrow. But as you can see, it came out really good. Even the floor. So tomorrow we're gonna do a few touches and we're gonna put the cushions back in. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually trying to clean the sink. Um, it was heavily oxidized. I'm using uh, brittle pads right now to try to get all the surface rust off and whatnot. Then I'm gonna polish the sink and including the faucet. This is exactly what the um, bowl looked like. It was just 
there was a bunch of stuff on it. So first I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna show you guys how it comes out. So I just finished polishing uh, the sink up. Now it's time to do the faucet. Um, look how nasty it looks. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys a, a after shot after I uh, clean this up. It should look just like this. I just finished polishing the faucet, cleaned it up, came out really nice. I got all that gunk off. Uh, couldn't be any happier. Uh, I'm really happy how it came out. Oh, it's falling nice. apart on us. <laughs> oh yeah. It's making the cabin look a lot nicer. With these on. All right, as you can see, these are Chinese LED strips, and they fall right off. So you might have to. <laughs> Oh, I just fell down over there. <laughs> look at it, look at it. It's falling off. See, it's not working. I mean, it, I mean, it is once it sits in there. What are you doing? I'm just gonna tape this freaking thing up here. See? No one will ever know. <laughs> I'm kidding. This is just to hold the super glue. Hold it while I go down here. So, um, make a lot of small pieces. <laughs> Did you just turn it off? <laughs> uh, we have uh, our galley here. Uh, right here. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is where the grill is! Cut, cut. <laughs> Alright Eric, how's this cabin coming along? Oh, it's coming along really good. Um, our galley is finished. We have a little barbecue section right here. Let me show you guys. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Alright Eric, how's this cabin coming along? Oh man, this cabin is looking all sweet. We got our uh, LED lights, we got the radio working. Um, as you can see, LED lights are reflecting um, the water bowl. The water bowl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eric. So how's this cabin coming along? Well, it's coming along really great, John. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what was that? All right, Eric. So how's this cabin coming along? Oh, uh, this cabin is looking beautiful, John. Um, up here we have ample cabin space. Look how big this cabin is, I can lean right here. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, you don't want to lean your head too, too uh, far back here because it hit my head <laughs> on one of the bolts up there. <laughs> um, well, we have our uh, sink right here, and it's looking um, really nice. Um, you see the, the sink right here, we polished this thing up, this thing looks brand new. Uh, currently it's not hooked up, but we're gonna make that thing uh, flush some water through there, make her um, working again. Got her LED uh, lights um, pretty much operating. I just gotta hide this. Oh, we got more wire just fell down. But we uh, I had to screw this uh, wire on the side. You gonna screw it in there? Oh no, I'm not gonna screw it. <laughs> Oh, there she goes. It's really dirty, actually. Oh, yeah. Probably hasn't been... Get a little on that screwdriver. This thing hasn't been touched in uh, a really long time. Look how black that is. Yeah, you can smell it. Oh, yeah. It blends in with the tip of the screwdriver, almost. So, we're going to get some vinyl because we are going to redo all these cushions. And we're going to do them all white. Should come out looking really good. So we did a little addition to our canopy. Um, we installed these fans. I have a fan right here and also right here and I could pretty much make them adjustable. Um, I could put them any direction I really want. Um, so I have this one set up like this and if I want to put it all the way up like this, I just hook it up to the chains. But uh, this is, um, you know, to keep us cool in here. Um, these fans were pretty cheap, so we just decided that we we're gonna do it anyway. And it's nice because we also have lights in here so we could work during the night. So currently I'm working on 
buffing out the gel coat on here. Um, I actually had one of my friends, he has a YouTube channel, his name's Alfred, and he um, does a lot of boat restorations and sea trials on inflatable boats, but he sent me this. It's Pad Express. He gave me a few of these to test out because he knows that I work on boats and we fix them up and whatnot, but look what it did actually. I mean, this stuff actually restored my gel coat. Um, here's a line, the old line. This is the old gel coat. And this is what I run it over with the Pad Express. And you could see the reflection of the tarp in the background. Look at that. That's old. And that's new right there. Came out really nice. Uh, if you look at it in person, I mean, you could almost see yourself in the gel coat. It's crazy what that stuff actually does. And, um, it's actually pretty handy because um, the, there's like a there's a reservoir built in here and the stuff is inside so all you have to do is press on the pad and it comes out and you start buffing so I just finished this whole side and I also did the top right here um, might be a little bit hard to see in camera but I mean this thing came out really nice you can see the reflection of the tarp over there look at that this stuff really works really good um, I'm going to put the link in the description um, of the product and also Alfred's uh, YouTube channel so you can check it out. Um, like I said, this stuff actually really does work really good. So me and my buddy made a decision to get the motor repainted. Um, we're doing it because everything else looks so good on the boat. Um, and the motor is just sun faded and it's kind of baked. Inside looks really nice. I'm actually spraying it down because I'm cleaning it. All right, so the motor is all taped off. I. Uh, put plastic all over the whole boat all the way up to the front um, this motor is going to get painted today I'm waiting for my friend to come over and he's going to do all the work um, all we did was all the prep work and whatnot and he's just going to lay the paint so just waiting for him and uh, we'll see how it actually comes out does it have a pearl on that <laughs> base mushroom ELT white. You asked for white, man. <laughs> that looks like my goddamn ankle white. Look at that. We damn near on the spot with that. <laughs> hey, damn, bro, you can't be close to that. <laughs> So we're pretty much done with the boat. All we have to do now is to take all this crap that's in here, put it outside, and give it a good detail. Gotta clean the cabin. Got uh, the cushions in there. They look great. Look at that. All redone. Um, yeah, we just have to take everything out and start cleaning. All right, so we are completely finished with the boat. Here it is, gonna give you guys a little overview of it. We did the bottom paint on it. Um, I polished a gel coat on here. She's all smooth and shiny. Also did up here. Um, came with a dual axle aluminum trailer. We um, repainted the whole motor, put new stickers on it. She runs great. Let's come on this side. Has the two bimini tops up there, so it uh, blocks the sun. All right, so let's go inside the cabin. We put a brand new water separator in here. In that compartment, um, you have your battery. That's a live wool under here. We have nice uh, cushions sitting right there. Um, some storage under here. Pop these. Mm 
There's a little cooler type of thing in there. Uh, we re redid these. We painted that. Put some paint splatter in there. Got some nice cushions for the seat. We have a stool thing for your feet right here. Let's go in the cabin. Uh, cabin's completely been redone. We painted the sink. There's a grill in there. Look at that. Cushions, brand new cushions. We re, uh, we have those reupholstered. Got some LED, white LED strips running along the cabin. Clean interior, really clean. This is actually our nicest interior we had in a long time. Got a radio in there. Um, let me close this and I'll take you guys in the front. So, um, we have our antenna right here. I'm gonna go up this way. We got an anchor in the front. Just a really nice setup. So we're uh, gonna launch it and we'll uh, do a little sea trial with it. We are rolling, heading in the water. Our uh, little project boat we finally finished. It's a nice day, look at that. So we have a little problem. We launched this thing and the battery actually died. I tried to restart the motor because I actually flooded it. So we have to go to our house to grab a fresh battery and we'll be back at night. All right, guys, we are back. We had a, a little issue with the boat. Um, I forgot to prime the water separator filter. It was brand new and uh, I was cranking it, cranking it, wouldn't start, started and just kept cranking it. And I uh, flooded the motor and yada, 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 drained the battery. But we are back. Um, it's a nice day out, and hopefully, uh, hopefully everything goes as planned right now. All right, so we got the boat in the water. Motor's running great, and we are ready to head out here. Alright, so it's pretty dark outside. I flicked the lights on. I'm gonna show you what it looks like in here. I mean, it's really nice in here. Looks like a completely different cabin. 
if you looked at it before, um, you know how you know how it came when we bought it. It was a mess. Uh, got the cushions redone. I mean, it's a completely different boat. It's actually nice to sit in here. <laughs> Brand new cushions. Uh, they were recovered. Yeah. We uh, did our little sea trial. We're done with it. We're gonna put the boat up. So we just got the boat out of the water. Uh, like I said, the boat ran great. Um, we redid a lot of things on this boat. Um, it took a lot of work. Um, I know um, it took a little bit to make this video, but here she is. This boat um, almost looks like a new boat up, up in person. It's a 95. She looks like a 2020. Appreciate you guys watching and stay tuned for more boat videos. We have a Aquasport 222 that we're going to redo. It's going to take us a little bit of a time, but it's going to be worth it. Stay tuned.